Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video we're going to talk about what you should do if you think your Gmail account or your Google account has been hacked, how you can tell, and then what the next steps you should take are. I did a similar video on what to do if you thought your Yahoo account had been hacked about a year ago. Unfortunately, it was a very popular video and I've had a number of requests to do a similar video for Gmail. So here it is. Now first off, one of the main ways you can tell whether your account has been hacked is if some of your contacts have received weird emails either promoting a certain product or asking for money to be sent to a bank account. That is a clear indication that you've been hacked or really fished. Hacked by definition really means that somebody did something illegal and, and broke some barriers and, and usually used some technical expertise to actually gain access to your account without knowing the password. What phishing is, is when somebody gains your username and password and then accesses your account really uh, in a legal way by just logging in on gmail.com and then sending emails from your account and possibly even changing your password. Uh, so another indication is that if you can't log into your account, you're sure that your password is correct. They may have actually accessed your account and changed your password. And fortunately, Google has some recovery options set up for you to be able to recover your account if that has happened to you. So I'm going to include some of my own tips throughout this tutorial, but there's a really nice page that Google has released and it's called Compromised Gmail Account. I actually found it just by searching compromised Gmail account, uh, but you can see the URL up here at support.google.com slash mail slash answer slash 50270. I don't think you'll need that question mark uh, HLN equals EN. Let's go ahead and just refresh without that. We can get to the same page here. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this link in the description of this video here on YouTube. If you don't want to type it in, you can just copy and paste it from the description. And you'll notice that it kind of talks about what you should do if your account has been compromised. And there's really two options. One, that you can still sign into your account. And the second one, that you can't sign into your account. And the second one, where it says you can't sign into your account, that's generally when they've changed your password. So you'll notice if you click on this link, Google has a recovery, an account recovery form that you can fill out. So you can just go ahead and open up this second link here and you can fill out this form. Um, it's probably going to ask you a lot of questions, personal questions, some maybe some security questions, that sort of thing. It might send a text to your phone. But if you can't log in, you can try that. If, however, you can log into your account and you are still thinking that your account has been hacked, first of all, change your password immediately. Uh, but we have this other option here on this compromised Gmail account page that says, I can still sign into my account. If we click on that, it gives us a link to a security checklist, which I actually already have open here in another tab. And you'll notice that the first thing that is recommended on that list is to secure your password. So if you can log into your account, you think it's been hacked, change that password, make sure you change the password to any other accounts where you're using the same password. So even if you've got a Yahoo account or your banking account password is the same, change all of those passwords because you might have your banking account username in your Gmail account and the hacker might be smart and just try the same password that they use to get into your Gmail account and then all of a sudden they've got access to your bank account. So change your passwords. Okay, very first thing. And I'm just going to go through this checklist here. Notice that Google actually tells you where you can change your password. You can go to google.com slash settings slash security. You can just click on this link and click the change password button to change your password. The second tip that Google gives is to update your account recovery options. So when we go through this checklist back here, uh, the recovery form, it's going to send an email to a recovery email that we may have added to our account in the past. And like I said, it may also text your phone. So you need to make sure, we're going to go back to the security checklist, that your recovery options are up to date, that you have your current phone number and your current email addresses listed there. So again, you can go here to google.com slash settings slash security. And let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to open up in a new tab here. I'm going to have to log into my account again because I signed out. Okay, so I'm logged back into my account, and you'll notice that down here in recovery options, I have a recovery email address and a recovery phone number. So for your account, you need to make sure that this email address and phone number is up to date. That's how you can recover your password if somebody has changed it. Uh, so make sure that that information is up to date. If, you, if it isn't, you can click on the edit button and modify that information. Let's go back to the security checklist, and let's go ahead and take a look at the third tip we've got here. This is a really important one. This is really helpful for people that think their account may have been hacked, but they're not sure. You can check your recent activity on your account. So notice that Google again provides a link here to go to your recent activity. So we could click on this link. You'll notice that it opens up here. And it tells us the recent locations that we've signed in from. So I actually live in Fort Lauderdale. And you can see that all of my sign-in locations have been in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, so that looks good for me. This only goes back so far. It goes back about two, three weeks, maybe even close to a month. 
And it also tells you that when there's been some changes, when a recovery email or phone number uh, has been added or removed, and when passwords have been changed, that sort of thing. Another way to access a similar view of information is actually if you just go into your Gmail account. So I'm just going to go to gmail.com. And you go to the very bottom right corner. Once my page loads here, you'll notice that there is this section that says last account activity 10 minutes ago. And you can click on details. And it's going to bring up this pop-up window that also shows you where locations where you have recently logged into this email account. So again, you can see that all of my locations are from the same IP address. And they're all from Florida. If you have a weird IP address in here that is from a country on the other side of the world, chances are either somebody's one of your relatives or family members or friends is accessing your account while they're on vacation and not telling you or you've been hacked. Uh, so this is another good way to tell whether your account's been hacked. Uh, if you see a weird location in this list, change your password immediately. And up here at the top, there's a button that allows you to sign out of all other sessions. So if you see an active session right now, like five minutes ago uh, from a very weird country that you've never been to, uh, or you're not in right now, go ahead and hit sign out of all other sessions. Then I'll make sure that it signs out of that account in that country. And if you've already changed your password, that user will not be able to sign back in. Uh, so definitely a good idea right there. Let's go back to our security checklist here. And we're going to go to also this uh, Google has another suggestion in this section, basically saying checking for suspicious messages. So if you go to your Gmail account, you can go to the sent mail section and see if there have been any messages that were sent with, again, advertisements or requesting money from your contacts, because those are obviously very suspicious. So we're going to go to the next tip in our list here. Um, and this one is to check your Gmail settings. And if your account has been hacked, this is definitely a very important thing to do because somebody may have gone in and actually set your account to forward all emails in the future to another account. So Google gives you kind of a complicated list of instructions here. But let's go ahead and let's just take a look in our Gmail account. So I'm going to go into my Google account, my Gmail account. I'm going to click on the gear icon at the top right corner and I'm going to go to my settings. There's a few areas in here that we want to take a look at. The first area is going to be accounts. You want to make sure that in this account section where it says send mail as, only accounts that you own are listed here. Okay, so you can see I only have one account listed right now. That's the account I'm using, so that is fine. Also make sure in this section down here where it says grant access to your account, that there are no accounts authorized in this section, or if there are accounts there, they are accounts that you use or that you want to have access to your account. Okay, so those are the two areas you want to look in this accounts section. Going up here to the filters section, this is where you can create email filters, which I've talked a lot in my Gmail tutorials. Uh, but somebody could create a filter where every email you receive that says checking account, it automatically forwards it to another email address. So make sure that there aren't any weird forwarding filters in here um, for matching certain criteria. And the last area that we want to check is in this forwarding and pop slash IMAP section. You want to make sure that in this area where it says forwarding, that there are no accounts that you don't own listed. This is very similar to in the accounts section where we look at the uh, send mail as section in the grant access. We also want to look in forwarding and make sure that there's no weird addresses here. If there are, you want to delete those. Also, unless you know what IMAP is and are using it, down here in this section where it says IMAP access, you want to make sure that it says disable IMAP unless you are actively using it. If you're using it, you should know what it is. Um, so if, if you don't know if you're using IMAP, go ahead and just disable that feature. That's going to make sure that even by changing your password, that other people haven't set up certain filters to receive your emails without you really knowing. So definitely want to check that information right there. I'm going to go back to our Gmail security checklist. We're going to go to part five. And remember, you can rewind and fast forward this video at any time if uh, you need a little more time to finish up one of these sections, because I know it's a very stressful situation if you think your account may have been hacked. So section number five, there isn't really much I can show in terms of doing a tutorial, but it's basically saying that you want to make sure there's no malware or viruses on your computer. So if you're running Windows, you definitely want to be running an anti-security system. Um, there are a few out there for Mac computers as well, although they tend to get less viruses. Uh, but you want to make sure that if you think the hacking or the phishing came from a virus on your computer, that you get that virus cleaned up. Um, so, and Google has some information here that you could click on in terms of device security and that sort of thing. Also make sure that everything is up to date. You'll notice Google says here, your operating system up to date, um, software updates down here. And I believe in section six, 
we're going to talk about making sure your browser is up to date. So whether you're using Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, you need to install the latest updates. A lot of those updates are because somewhere within that browser, there's been a security vulnerability that somebody has discovered and maybe even taken advantage of. So as soon as somebody discovers that vulnerability, whichever browser, whether it's Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, they're going to release an update to patch that vulnerability so that people can no longer access uh, information that they maybe shouldn't have been accessing. Now, here's a catch-22 to that. When that update comes out, if you don't run that update, now you're really leaving yourself vulnerable because as soon as that update comes out, maybe only a certain percentage of people knew about that vulnerability to begin with. Once Google updates and patches that vulnerability, now a whole lot more people know about that vulnerability and can read some documentation on it and take advantage of it for people who have not updated their browsers. So make sure your browser is up to date. I know those updates can get annoying for everybody on your phone and your computer, but they really are important. So make sure uh, whenever you see an update, you do it. Usually they won't take very long, but if you let them stack up and pile up, that's when they take a long time. So make sure you're updating all of your software. If we go to um, tip number seven here, this is a very high security feature of, of Gmail. You can enable two-step verification. Now, if you are using Gmail on your mobile device, if you enable two-step verification, a lot of the time you will not be able to use it. So this might not be very feasible. However, if you're not using this on a cell phone, you can go ahead and read, using Gmail on a cell phone, you can go ahead and read through the tip here and how to enable that. And then tips number eight and nine, uh, kind of just talk about pre preventing identity theft as a whole, keeping your social security number, your account pins, your passwords secure and safe. Um, so, you know, I hope this video helped everybody. Again, take a look through this checklist. There are a lot of great things here. Make sure you change your password. Very first thing, check your account's recent activity. See if anybody else is logged into your account on the other side of the world right now. Check those sent messages. Make sure there's nothing spammy in there. And if you've got any other similar passwords that you've used to an account that's been hacked, change those passwords as well, just to be safe. Think about the information that might be in your email account. If your banking account number is in your email account and you're sure that your email got hacked, you may want to give your bank a call and let them know what's happened uh, because you definitely want to try and avoid any future identity theft that may occur because your email account has been hacked. So again, I hope this video helped. If it did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tutorials and tips, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. It's Anson from AnsonAlex.com.